Travis Wingood so in the news to, that I found this morning there is uh, one where the United States Supreme Court rejected a case regarding uh, George Q. Ricks of Idaho to use a birth certificate instead of a social security number for a uh, contractor's board in Idaho. Wanted to be a licensed contractor, I guess. They demanded social security number and refused to accept the birth certificate in its place. George Q. Ricks argued that his religious freedom was being denied because he had religious beliefs that the social security numbers are the number of the beast talked about in Revelation 13. <clears throat> the Supreme Court said no, it's an arbitrary numbering system uh, and has no connection to the number of the beast. Having gone to Rick's College, I immediately began a search to find out if this guy is Mormon. I found the petition. I can't find his religious beliefs. It is left out. They referred to other cases involving Jews, involving Jehovah's Witnesses, Catholics, but it does not state what his religious beliefs are for which he claims his religious beliefs are being violated. That would have helped with this case. Because you can't just generally say, oh, I have religious beliefs, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to comply. <laughs> it's got to be specific religious beliefs. You know, when uh, the draft was held back in the day, many Americans chose to become uh, part of Islam and gave themselves new names from Islam so that they could avoid the draft, you know, based on their religious rights according to Islam. And they were able to get away with that. Whereas others chose the flee the country to avoid the draft. <laughs> Go to Canada. <clears throat> and so I'm kind of curious as to why George Q. Ricks is not stating his religion because as much as I can guess and assume that he is a descendant of the Ricks family of whom Ricks College was named after of pioneer ancestry <coughs> I can't find the confirmation however I have found in KentuckyToday.com that uh, there were a, there was a brief uh, signed on to, and it included the General Conference of the Seventh Day Adventists, Church of God in Christ, Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Union of Orthodox Jewish Congregationalists of America and, wait for it, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So the church itself has signed on to the brief to overturn the ruling against George Q. Ricks. They want this to pass, but the Supreme Court said no. And that is curious that the, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints 
is interfering in this particular case like they did where religious bakers refused to bake cakes for gay couples for their weddings. And so, yeah, the church had an investment in this to allow people to avoid submitting their social security number. When the church itself requires a social security number, if you're going to work for them, <laughs> very curious. So yeah, I, <clears throat> the church wanted this uh, lawsuit to uh, claim the number of the beast as part of its argument. So, can't find out if he's Mormon, but the church is backing him. And the Supreme Court denied it.